Hey, John here at the Grape and Granary, and today I'm going to do a demonstration on the use of the Kelowna Bench Capper Corker Combo. So we're going to start out first talking about how to use this uh, model as a corker, and as the name suggests, it's a capper and a corker. Um, so I've got some bottles lined up here. We've got it set up for corking, which is this mechanism here. We have a foot that uh, you can pull out and adjust based upon the bottle height. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and torque a bottle. So I've already set this corker up to accommodate this particular bottle light. You can see we place it in there. We're maybe a quarter to a half an inch below the corking dot here. So again, if your bottle is not that height, you're going to want to raise or lower the foot just by pulling this plate out, putting it back in so that you have the right height. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our cork, and I like to use the micro particle cork again, and we're going to pull down this collar a little bit that accommodates the cork to enter the uh, chamber there and then we're going to line it up so that when we pull this handle down we want the center of our shaft here to line up with the center of the cork as long as we have a good alignment the cork's going to line up well with the top of the bottle and it's going to go in very easily so and at this point all we have to do is go ahead and pull the handle down or up all the way to that point to hear the clicking sound pull the handle back and we're pretty much set Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to cork one more bottle. And again, I've got this set up for this particular bottle height. Put the bottle under, and again, we want maybe a quarter to a half an inch uh, distance between the top of our bottle and the corking die. <clears throat> we'll take our cork, and again, we're not really soaking these to soften them, just to lubricate them a little bit so they slide through the chamber a little easier. So we're going to push down on the little collar here, put the cork in, and we want to make sure that the center of our cork lines up with the center of the shaft there. Once we have good alignment, we're ready to go ahead and we're going to just lift the handle up and we're going to go all the way up until it clicks and that's it. Take the handle back and we're ready to go ahead and slide our bottle out. Again, you can see just how well that did put the cork into the bottle. It's nice and flat and flush with the top of our bottle. So now we're going to go ahead and set up for the capping demonstration and I'll show you how to adjust the cap or corker to become a capper. So the setup for changing the soap from a corker to a capper is pretty straightforward. You can see at the bottom here we have a couple of capping dies that come with the unit. So all we have to do is slide one of the capping dies out. Then we're going to remove our top plate here, which is our corking plate. There's a little locking mechanism in the back, which you can't see. I'm just going to flip it around real quick. This prevents the corking mechanism from coming out. So I'm just going to push down this with my finger and it slides right out like that. Very simple. Let's back around again. Now that you can see, we have a corking die or corking uh, shaft here. All we have to do is slide that out. So we'll slide this out like so. Put this in our little handy dandy storage spot. Slides right in. Take our capping die and we'll slide that in its place where our corking die was, like so. And then we're ready to go ahead and cap. The only thing we have to do now is just adjust the height for our bottle. So we'll slide out our plate and then we just need to estimate approximately where we need to be to accommodate our bottle height, probably right about there. There we go. So once we have the height set up properly, take our crown cap, place it on top of our bottle, swing our handle up again, and then all the way down, crimp the bottle cap, and you're ready to go. So if you have any questions about this particular item or any other item that we sell, don't hesitate, give us a call. Um, you can also find us online, www.thegrape.net, and thanks for watching.